Hey guys, Dr. Fredrickson here. Today I'm gonna to talk about immunoglobulins, why they're important, the different types, and what they can mean for your health when you supplement with them. So immunoglobulins are part of our immune system. They're basically our antibodies. <clears throat> there are five major types. I like to use the acronym GAMED because it's easier to remember. So IgG, 70, 70 to 75% of immunoglobulins in our bodies. Uh, IgA, usually found in mucosal secretions. IgMs, they can form pentamers or they create a large antibody complex. IgEs is what you find in anaphylactics or allergic reactions. And IgD, which are found in some B cells and more research is being done. So what do immunoglobulins do? Well, in a functioning immune system, they bind to toxins, they bind to bad bacteria. So excuse my drawing here, I'm not that good, but basically we have an immune system here. This is our gut mucus I'm trying to indicate here. This is healthy. And then here we have unhealthy. We have big spaces, we have inflammation, inflammation. So when a bacteria species comes in, this mucosa should be able to bounce back and this bacteria will just keep floating. When our gut is dysfunctional, we don't have enough immunoglobulins binding to these bad guys, this bacteria gets inside of the gut, then our immune system goes into hyperdrive. That's when our immune reaction starts to happen. So this is what we want to avoid. So immunoglobulins are unique because what they do is they have binding capabilities. And so there is a bacteria mainly the gram-negative gram bacteria. And what's unique about gram-negative bacteria is that they have a outer membrane, a tough outer membrane called LPS. LPS stands for lipopolysaccharide. Basically, it makes these bacteria very hard to penetrate. That's where gram-negative differ from uh, gram-positive. Is that Gram-positive do not have this outer membrane. They have more peptidoglycans. So this LPS has been studied extensively because it's a powerful immune stimulator. So once LPS comes inside the uh, GI tract, it activates inflammatory signals. It activates everything in your body to start going after this molecule because it's toxic, right? And so what immunoglobulins do is that when you ingest them, the FOB region of the antibody through here comes down and it binds to that cell. So it takes the cell away, creates a molecule so big that it can no longer fit through the gut membrane. So think about a volleyball net. If you have a baseball and you're throwing in a volleyball net, the baseball goes right through. If you have a bigger ball, which is what immunoglobulins do when you ingest them, they create these antibody complexes. And so that ball is now volleyball and the volleyball bounces back through that net. Now there's been a couple different potential triggers of this complex right through here called leaky gut or intestinal permeability. One is toxins like LPS, which we just showed here. Two is there's been a protein in gluten called gliadin that have been shown to open up the cell walls. There's a doctor, Dr. Fasano. He actually was looking at a cholera vaccine, and what he found was pretty remarkable is that he identified a protein in our gut called zonulin. Zonulin is basically a cell separator. It opens up these gut membranes so that more things come through than they're supposed to. Why this is bad is our gut is 80% of our immune system. If things are coming through our gut, that means things that are not supposed to be there get through. And now LPS, is being shown to actually be one of the telltale signs of degenerative brain disorders, like in Parkinson's, like in Alzheimer's, dementia. So avoiding this complex can be neglected by a healthy immune system. So there's lots of different types of immunoglobulins out there. Immunoglobulins you do get from meat, but when you get a concentrated form, like in a supplement, you're basically giving your immune system just a chance to breathe. And in our next video, I'm gonna talk about how athletes can benefit from immunoglobulins, how some forms of high intensity exercise can increase the gap junctions in the gut, leading to more dysfunction. So 
Please excuse my poor drawing. If you have any questions on this short video on immunoglobulins, let me know. And please subscribe to Fredrickson Health Solutions as I'm going to be doing more videos like this, hopefully every single week, and also listen to some of my podcast interviews with guest health practitioners every single week as well. So thank you guys for joining me. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll talk to you next time.